Hello, Infinite Travelers. Welcome back to CILP. My name's Caleb. And I'm Shaylin. In today's video, we thought we'd take you guys all out for some sightseeing. We will be checking out three different places. First on the list is the Quito Historic Center. The historical center is actually made up of a couple of blocks of some really old buildings in a tight area. All of them are really old and have some really cool architecture from the colonial area. We're starting at a really well-known church called La Basilica. So one thing I noticed that I thought was a cool little detail, I'm not sure if you can tell, but each one of the gargoyles is actually a different animal. Some pretty impressive architecture here. It is absolutely amazing. This is for, but it's pretty awesome. This place is absolutely spectacular. I don't know if I've ever seen a more ornate building in my life. some of the bus drivers get through here. The streets are so narrow and some of them are so steep. It's pretty impressive, honestly. I don't think I would ever have the guts to drive in a city like this. We really enjoyed today walking around, getting to see all the historical buildings and churches. It's really been a pleasure. The historic center is really amazing. It might even be a suggestible walk if you have the energy and the time to walk all the way from the Basilica Church where we started, all the way to the Panasijo statue that we stand under now. It is a pretty long hill. We chose to take a taxi, but just in case you have the time and the energy, it's definitely something you could spend the day doing. I feel it could take you up to two hours to get to the top, and it's definitely a beautiful view. tons of great views up here. There's even some places that sell some artisanal items as well as a couple places to get food here and along the way. This is a must-stop location when you're visiting Quito, Ecuador.
Quito is known for having some of the most amazing parks in Ecuador, so we decided to visit one of the largest here in Quito. As we walked around, there was lots of people and families, and it felt pretty safe. The whole park was quite lively. There is food if you want some food, there's stands to buy artisanal goods if you want to purchase anything, there's even some bike rentals and things like this to get around the park. Some parks are very big, like Parque Carolina and El Ejido. Some even have rides. spectacular um, this is the only thing that's gonna be in the video we thought it was free but apparently not two tickets for us for the tram ride cost $17 and I so far it's pretty exciting and it's pretty worth it you actually have to take like a 15 20 minute taxi ride up the mountain to start with and then the cable car continues to go up the mountain from there I'm not sure what the final height is. I'll have to find out and put it in the video. Yep, I was doing research on free things to do in Quito, Ecuador, and this one popped up and I was like, free? Why not? That sounds really intriguing. But upon arriving, it immediately looked like this is not going to be free at all. <laughs> so there's lots of attractions also that we might check out in another video, but so far this is really awesome. Not what I expected at all. <laughs> I'm usually not one to get nervous with certain things, but for some reason being in this cable car, especially every time it goes over the roller, it makes me a little bit nervous. I don't necessarily get vertigo or anything, but um, it feels like we are very high up, and I'm the type of person that prefers to have their feet on the ground. Statue El Panasillo, but the Panasillo is free. This costs seventeen dollars. <laughs> I think that they are both worth checking out, though. After going up the hill at the top of the cable car, you actually get out and then you can explore around. They have a building up here and some viewpoints and some little informational things and some places to buy food and drink. And then when you are ready, you can get back in line to take the cable car back down the mountain. It's a little cold up here, but once you reach your way back down, there's also a few more attractions too. At the top of the mountain, it does get a little chilly, so be sure to dress warm. Also, be prepared for the rain, so don't forget an umbrella or even a rain jacket. 
you will find a couple of coffee shops where you can grab some snacks and even some hot chocolate. There is also a larger building where you can purchase things such as jackets, scarves, and hats. And also that's where you will find a larger coffee shop as well. The line to get the ticket and to get onto the tram to go up the mountain doesn't take that long. However, at least when we went, we prepared for the line down to be significantly longer. In our case, it took about 45 minutes. Overall, today's experience has been amazing. We've done a long walk through the main center of Quito. We saw some really amazing places, a really amazing people, foods, sounds, sights, and smells. We absolutely love this city. But that's all the time we have for today's video since it's starting to rain. So we gotta wrap it up, but thank you so much to our subscribers and viewers. We really appreciate you all. If you enjoyed this video, found it entertaining or informative, give us a subscribe and a like, and we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye.